We all know that the South African education system is in a desperate situation, but exactly how desperate is it? The stats can be confusing. We hear about improved matric results, but then we hear about the low level of learners making it all the way through the schooling system. How does it all balance out? Well, of the 550,000 learners that sat for their matric exams in 2012, 380,000 passed. That's 74%, which sounds great. So what's the problem? The problem is that this is just a small proportion of the learners that enter grade R each year. The big picture is that we start off with 1,150,000 grade R learners every year, but only 550,000 attempt matric, and only 380,000 of them pass. That means we've lost three quarters of a million children along the way every year. Or to put it another way, we are gaining three quarters of a million economic dependents every year. That alone is appalling. Worse still is the likelihood that we are losing so many gems, the potential Beethovens and Barnards and maybe the next Madiba. Generations lost. Faced with these facts, it's easy to be paralyzed by despair, to feel like there's no hope. The challenge seems overwhelming, but it's not. At Partners for Possibility, we can testify that there is hope and that change is possible. And we can do that because we've achieved change. How? By tackling one school at a time. Three years and 120 schools later, we have learned a lot about the South African educational landscape and have fine-tuned a unique solution. So what's our recipe for success? Well, you start by finding one under-resourced school. That part's pretty easy. Next, add one willing school principal. You'll usually find an overwhelmed and under-equipped one in the same box as the under-resourced school. Now throw in one business leader. Be sure to choose one that's well ripened with the necessary skills and experience. Mix these ingredients into a well-blended partnership. Then add a leadership course to the mix and blend some more. At this point, you need to spice things up. So drop one professional experienced learning process facilitator into the pot and get the training and coaching underway. Then take your principal and business leader and place them amongst a number of similar partnerships from the same region. Now the flavors are really getting to know each other and it's time to form a circle of five to 10 partnerships that serve as an incubator for solutions. Set the incubator and leave for one year. And what happens during that year? Well, with all the knowledge and skills they've gained, plus the benefit of their grassroots experience and peer and organizational support, the collective partnerships are well-placed to tailor design an improvement plan that addresses their own specific challenges solutions for the real world. So now you may be thinking, this all sounds great, but does it work? You bet it does. Since our start in 2010 with one single school, we have rapidly grown to 120 partnerships between school principals and business partners. 120 school communities have embarked on a new journey where paralysis born out of despair is rapidly being transformed into action inspired by hope. By learning and working together, walls are being broken down and bridges are being built between communities that have otherwise remained isolated from each other. But don't just take our word for it. Take these words from a few familiar faces. That's what we do. So now what are you going to do?